To evaluate the given expression that involves both fractions and decimals, we either need to convert the fraction to a decimal and then subtract the decimals or convert the decimal to a fraction and subtract fractions. In this video, we'll convert the fraction to a decimal and then subtract the decimals. So let's convert negative 3 eighths to a decimal. We know the decimal is going to be negative, so to convert 3 eighths to a decimal, remember a fraction bar means division, we'll divide 3 by 8. Well, there aren't any eighths in 3, so we'll add a decimal point here, move it up to our quotient, and now we can add zeros as needed. So we'll add a zero here, and now we want to know how many eighths there are in 30. That would be 3. 3 times 8 is 24. Subtract. That would be 6. Add another zero and bring it down. Now we want to know how many eighths there are in 60. That would be 7. 7 times 8 is 56. Subtract, that's 4. Add another 0, and now we have 40, which is good news because there's exactly 5 eighths in 40. 5 times 8 is 40, and then we subtract, we have a 0, so this decimal terminates. So now we can rewrite the given expression as negative 0 0.375 minus 1.75. Now for me, I think it's going to be helpful if we rewrite this subtraction problem as an addition problem. Subtracting positive 1.75 is the same as adding negative 1.75. So we could rewrite this as negative 0.375 plus negative 1.75. Now the reason I think this is helpful is when we're adding two negative numbers, we want to add their absolute values and then keep the original sign. So to determine this sum, we'll find their absolute values. Well, the absolute value of negative 0 0.375 would just be positive 0 0.375. And the absolute value of negative 1.75 is just positive 1.75. Now we'll determine their sum and then make that sum negative. So we'll have 0 0.375 plus 1.75. If we want, we can add a zero here in the thousands place value. And before we determine this sum, let's go ahead and bring the decimal point down. So we have five, this would be 12 carry a one, this is 11 carry a one. So we have 2.125, but again, because we were adding two negatives, we know this sum has to be negative. So our final sum is negative 2.125. Now at this point, if I did ask to express this as a fraction, instead of going back and converting 1.75 to a fraction and then adding fractions, I'd probably would just rewrite this decimal in fraction form. And let's just go ahead and show that. Of course, we'd have negative two. Then looking at the decimal part, this would be 125 thousandths. So we'd have 125 over 1,000. And these are actually both divisible by 125. So this would be one all over 1,000 divided by 125, which is eight. So negative two and one eighth is equal to negative 2.125. I hope this was helpful.